What's up guys? Welcome back to TJ's Reviews. And today we're gonna be reviewing something called a water spot remover from Walmart. Let me see it, buddy. Bam. So as you can see, this is my F-250 here and all over the windows. Now I took this to car washes. I've uh, foam canned it, power washed it, put soap and scrubbed. These will not come off. And I'm gonna show you how I got them off and very cheaply. I took them to, I took this truck to a uh, detailing shop, uh, two or three of them actually, and they wanted to charge me $450 or one was $500 just to get the spots off. And um, I'm not a professional car cleaner person, but uh, I'm gonna show you what I did. And then this way you're gonna get results like this. All right, guys, real quick before we jump into this video, um, these are just the things that I used in today's video. Uh, so you're gonna have the water spot remover by Chemical Guys. I also use the uh, butter wet wax. Um, I got a kit from Walmart that came with three applicator pads and that little handle thing you see there, and then just a couple of towels. You're also gonna need a spray bottle with Dawn or dish soap or some kind of detailing spray, whichever you guys. Um, you guys can always go to a detailing shop and ask um, you know what they think you should use, but this is how I got the result that I got and this is how I know it works All right guys We've already been doing this as you can see we did that Now this is the spot you can see there we go So I'm gonna show you how now remember a detail shop $400 to do this to my truck You see the difference? All right now, I'm gonna show you my seven-year-old's gonna do it I'm gonna show you step by step and see if he can get to all those and guys, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but I am telling you, it's, it's terrible. I've tried everything. I even went online and they, they wanted you to uh, buy all of this acid remover and all this crazy stuff. And, and this gets it off the windows too. So let's do this. All right, step one is gonna be to take your spot remover gel. You're gonna put a little bit on the rack. Okay, that's good. Now you're just gonna rub it in. Start with small sections right here just gonna work our way around the whole truck uh, and you just want to work it in up and down not pushing too hard but you know kind of uh, putting it in and I just have them doing strips all right we're gonna call this rag the wipe in rag so you're gonna tape your wipe in rag and you're basically gonna buff that in it's gonna get foggy a little bit you're gonna keep working that in all the way down until that kind of disappears See. So see how it's a little foggy right now? It's smeared, and then he's getting that shine on it. There we go. Missed this whole spot right there. After you did that, step three is going to be go and see if you missed any spots, which you did. So I can see it kind of, and this is going to be hard for the camera, but yep, right there. So you just kind of go over because you're not going to get them all. This is definitely an important step. Plus you seven. So give them a break. <laughs> so right there. So if you did miss a spot after you finish. Hold on. All right, right there. You're just going to rub a little bit and repeat the process. You don't need to do the whole area. Just that one little spot. Just rub it in really good with the gel. Use the wipe in rag. Wipe in the spots that you missed until they're shiny. All right, guys, step four is gonna to be to neutralize the gel, basically deactivating it uh, so it's no longer on your paint. Uh, what you're gonna do is just take um, any detailing spray, or I just use Dawn and water, put it in a spray bottle and spray the area that you just did. Go ahead and do that. You don't need to go crazy. You just kind of spray the area you did. And now you're gonna take, hold on. Is that your wipe off rag? Yes, it's, it's wet already. All right, so now you're gonna, we're gonna call this the wipe off rag. I don't know, I forget what we call the other rag. But just keep these rags separated because this one's just going to be to wipe off. It's the wipe rag? The, with the uh, soap and the water to get the gel off the paint. There you go, work your way down. And guys, look at the difference. Right there, and then the spots you just did. And now we got right here. No, that's fine. That was, uh, you missed the spot over there, but we'll, we'll, uh, go through and finish it out. I'm not expecting you to do this your first time. 
but still, I mean, you can tell the difference right here. All right, so the last step is gonna be to take your cleaning rag, yeah. is what we're gonna call it. So grab the gray rag right there, yep. And this one's, uh, and see, it's not, it's not wet or anything. This is just gonna be to wipe off all the excess. There we go. Kind of get all that soap and water and anything that was, wasn't on there, but it's, like I said, it's not gonna be soaking wet. There you go. I just apply it on with an applicator pad. It looks like that. After I do that, I wipe it off and then I use a buffing pad. And I get it nice and shiny and that water just beads right off of it. And you can also do uh, rain -X or anything, whatever you guys wanna put on there to keep them from coming back. But this is how you get them off. So uh, yeah, Walmart, a couple bucks, man. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Just do it. It's kind of like when you go out to a restaurant and you leave the tip on the table because they're a great waiter. I'm a great video maker. Let's go. Leave that tip. Don't cost you anything. All right, guys. So we had our first rain since I've sealed it. And uh, that's when I was getting my hard water spots is when it rained. So this is what it looks like. It's uh, beading up nice. So it's kind of just dropping down and beading up now we're gonna see if it leaves the water spots and we're gonna see if it's gonna leave the water spots or did we get rid of them and prevent them from coming back because that was a lot of work so I'll keep you guys posted all right guys as you can see the water is still on my tires it's still a little wet but it's later on in the day we just had a quick rainstorm and I don't see no water spots. There's still water on here, as you can see, but it's nice and sunny out now. Still a little rain clouds, but it's been a while. So yeah, I think it, I think that did its job. So I got rid of the water spots. Look at that. See? So those products that I showed you, and look, even on the windows, no water spots. And every time I'd wash this truck, um, the spots that the water spots weren't on, it, they would pop up every time it rained. I would have water spots all over this thing. And then, and then I would wash them, they wouldn't get off. So there we go.